Hi, this is Betsy Wurzel coming to you with your caregiver tip of the day. And it is about safety. In my town, uh, there is a safe and sound program by the police department, which is for free. And you can uh, go down and register your loved one. Um, they could have Alzheimer's or any disability. And or they will send you information and you fill it out with your picture and it goes into their database database so if your loved one gets lost they can look them up look that person up and know that if they're combative why it's even for people with um, developmental disabilities I had my mother-in-law registered and ironically the police officer who started it went to high school with Matt and he developed early onset around the same time as Matt, but unfortunately, Skip is no longer with us. He died um, summer 2016, I believe. And I had Matt registered with that, and I'm glad I did, because Matt became lost four years ago when he used to walk. And they found him in 30 minutes. Needless to say, I was a nervous wreck. Um, so this is a little longer tip of the day. Also, take a picture of your loved one before you leave the house, before they leave the house, so that you have a description and an up-to-date picture of what they are wearing. Because if you're like me, you might forget. And um, there's also safety tips for inside the house, which we could get to some other day. So that's my tip for the day. Contact your local police department. If they don't have a safe and sound program, might be called something else in your town, ask them about it. Ask to start one. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.